Okay, so the pizza oven, we want to take it and make sure when we start it up. Now this one we used, obviously, in the earlier session. They're going to get stained. These decks are porous. They're going to get dirty. They're going to get stained. When you have a brush, you would use a brush to do this. I don't have a brush right here, so I'll just use this towel on a tong. I don't think so. I think we're fine. Um, okay, so just clearing out any debris left from the previous day. Thank you. Okay, so fresh, do fresh pizzas. These are par-baked crusts. If they were the fresh crust like you'd find at pizzerias, uh, there they, they use like a, um, a cornmeal or something to keep them from sticking. Cornmeal, as I tried to demo that this morning, gives you a little bit more of a smoky aroma, shall we say, so I won't use any <coughs> cornmeal on that. I didn't have too much of a problem sticking this morning, but if you did, you could use a little flour just on your peel to make sure it's, everything is dry. Put a little pepperoni or something on there, I suppose. And I just bought this out of the fresh case over at the uh, Woodlake Market. No, no peel. Again, something we can, all, all product ideas in the future, right? Working. Okay. You could use the timer. Nothing off the later on, Rich, the timer. Let's, let's run the timer just so you can hear it cycle off. Three minutes. Three minutes, I'll put it on for. Question was, if you put two pizzas in, does it slow down the bake time? Not really. These, these stones are intended to hold that heat. So once you get this oven hot, uh, that those, the heat is retained in those stones. That's the whole idea of them. Well, Talking about Question is, are there elements underneath the deck? Yes, there's three elements in this oven. There's one element underneath the bottom stone. There's another element that's underneath the middle stone, but also heats the stone, right? So it's the top heat down to the bottom pizza, and then there's another element on the top of the oven that heats down. And we'll give it just a second yet. I want to talk about the heat. This oven I said is at 550. Earlier in the day I had it at 650. Okay, no problem. It really is. I could be here all day on that. It gets a little hotter toward the front. Top is a little bit warmer. Someone asked if you could stack I another item. No. We will, in our manuals, have the clearance distances listed. So um, we will tell you exactly what you can and can't do. Well, we tried a frozen pizza earlier. It was at that higher temperature, if you're going to cook frozen pizzas, such as like, a, uh, like one of these, I'd recommend turning the oven down. And we had it up that higher temperature this morning. It got a little hot. It's a recipe you'd have to play with. But at the higher temperatures like this, it's suitable for fresh dough. I mean, if you had a guy who had a, a dough uh, mixer and he mixed up his dough at a fresh dough pizza, these are par bake crusts. You could certainly do that in this oven. It has that capability. Also do these just at a little slower temperature. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Mike, time? Four and a half minutes. Okay. Hear that crust when I crust when I cut this? Okay. Um, clean up on this oven. I think we went over it, but once again, just Basically, shut it off, wipe down the interior surfaces. Any of the stainless surfaces, obviously, you can clean with the stainless cleaners. The interior of the door, you can use oven cleaner. Interior of the oven, 